Hello everybody, welcome back to another movie reaction. This is the big one. This is a really big one because a lot of you have recommended me this movie. Just kind of going off of Good Time, Robert Pattinson has been going crazy with these films and I cannot express how much I love this enough. Today we're gonna be doing a first time reaction to The Lighthouse. Now, a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, have recommended me this and I am so happy you guys did. I haven't seen this, but I've heard I've heard so many good things about this film. So many raving reviews about it and uh, I mean, all I know is that um, it's a really good movie. <laughs> so I'm going in this really blind uh, and I'm really excited to find out more about this film and why it is the way that it is. So for those of you who are new here, who are just uh, beginning on venturing into my channel, um, I want to say hello. My name is James Adams. I'm a filmmaker, uh, director, cinematographer, editor, uh, and all the above when it comes to just loving art. I appreciate art. I appreciate those who create and who take those risks, who take those chances. And I'm more than happy to have you guys along for the ride. I also want to say thank you for us reaching 200 subscribers. What? It feels like a couple of days ago we were at like what? 60 so i just want to say thank you for all the support so far i'm going to be launching a patreon soon uh to kind of like give more value to this channel because i know there's so much more that i can give to you guys so stay on the lookout for that there's going to be so many awesome ways you guys can be implemented into this whole journey of this youtube channel because i really want to incorporate you guys you guys are showing so much love so i want to be able to uh, incorporate new ways on how you guys can be involved so without further ado, guys, again, thank you. And let's get right into The Lighthouse. Hmm. All right. So already starting out with a really artistic approach filmed in a different aspect ratio instead of like a 16 by 9. I wonder if this was actually either shot in 8 millimeter or... Was this just replicated to make it look like it was shot in eight millimeter? I'm not too sure. I would love to find out more, but I'm already getting a very interesting vibe from this. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I love some of these frames within a frame and I love how tight everything feels. It feels already very claustrophobic, not just because of the aspect ratio, but because of how it's being shot. It's gonna be very interesting seeing how the cinematographer, especially is going to be using the space, utilizing the aspect ratio, because I know they're not just doing it just for the simple effect of, you know, just having it there to make it look pretty, but I know there's probably some intention behind it. So I'm excited to see what they utilize with this because it's definitely a restriction but sometimes restrictions are very good to exceed creative blocks. All right. Ain't it, are you? All right. I don't understand. It's against regulations, sir. Did you? From them's manual. Big picture, you were reading that. Well, already, there's some conflict of position here. I think William Defoe's character is the captain, and Robert Pattinson's character is uh, probably a sailor, I guess, underneath the captain. <laughs> That was freaking nasty. What the heck? I already have a couple of questions. Like, is that the lighthouse making that noise? What's making that noise? And they have to have four weeks together? Like, why Why are they there? Do they, you know, what? I, I mean, obviously, I'm probably going to get answers later on, but pretty interesting. Like, I wonder what the circumstances are for these two. Also, what the heck is that noise? Hmm. That kind of looks like he's in the lighthouse right now. What? What's going on here? It seems like he's a little drunk, maybe? Is he like worshipping the lighthouse? It's looking very majestic right now. It's a lot of focus on it. I mean, it is the title of the movie. <laughs> I love the atmosphere in this. What a mesmerizing experience so far with the shots. And it's interesting looking at it from the perspective 
of this aspect ratio because even though it's being restricted by the borders because it's so dark you can't really tell the frame of space especially at night everything seems so infinite endless boundless it's very mesmerizing <laughs> Oh snap, that's a mermaid. Well, damn. Wow, that was a shot for sure. The music just is so disturbing. It's really difficult to kind of put into words um, what I'm feeling as of right now. I feel like a weird tension being involved, like there's larger things at play here. Okay, I thought he was going to just chuck like a whole boulder at this bird. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> in the end, weren't no more sense left in him than an end's tooth. He believed that there was some enchantment in the light. Wow. Okay, so we got a little bit of background on his last uh, helper. He went mad and I guess he threw himself in the lighthouse? He was mesmerized by it. But we saw earlier that... Wim Defoe's character was like the very same. Some kind of pert out of molesting me. Come now. By golly, you'll do it, smiling lad, because you like it. You like it because I says you will. Wow, what acting from Wim Defoe. Holy crap, man. Oh my God. That was incredible. How the heck did he do that? I can already tell it's going to be very difficult editing this because there's so many good moments but if you guys want to watch the uncut version get ready for that patreon keep still I am. oh my god jesus there seems to be a lot of theme with these seagulls especially with robert pattinson's character in the seagulls they seem to be beefing a lot in this film i wonder what importance they're gonna hold especially related to what William Defoe said earlier about, you know, killing a seagull, it's definitely against a sailor's rule book. It comes with consequences. Oh, friendly Ephraim Winslow, tell me, what's a timberman want with being a wiki? It's like you said, I've had enough of trees, I guess. Hmm. That is a good question, though. Why is it bad luck to kill a gull? In them's the souls of sailors, but met their maker. Hmm. I did not know that. That's very interesting. Hmm. That was quite the line to then cut to the lighthouse. I might be interpreting it a little bit too much. What? Yo, what the hell was that? That looked like a squid. Was that real? Was that in his head? That was crazy. What was that? I have so many questions. <laughs> Whoa, holy crap. Oh no. My man just like probably unleashed every demon known to mankind. Wow, that was insane. All right, they're going in. I guess, you know, it is the last day. I'm on <laughs> Mixtape. God. Thought you said relief was coming. If we can wait out the storm. You're just trying to scare so they me. They have a possibility of being on that, on that island for 
weeks to months? That's crazy. Oh man, so they're like stranded together. And now the rations are gone. These guys are gonna go crazy. Rations. Was that more booze? Was that like more liquor instead of rations, like actual food that was just more alcohol? I'm not sure if that's a good plan. You're fond of me lobster, ain't you? You're fond of me. He really wants him to be proud of his food. Let Neptune strike ye dead, Winslow. <laughs> and plunge us right through your gullet. Whoa. A bulging bladder no more. But a blasted bloody film now. Nothing for the armies and the souls of dead sailors. Is Winslow no more, but is now itself the sea. Oh my God. Whoa. That was, yo. All right, have it your way. I like <laughs> He said, I like your cooking. I think any right person would say that after hearing that. What an incredible piece of dialogue right there. Oh my God. William Defoe was just like, oh my God. That was, I couldn't even breathe during that whole scene. He stole it right there. And, I, and it's probably gonna be impossible for me to give it justice because I have to chop it up for YouTube. Wow, that was an, Breathtaking performance by William Dafoe. All because he didn't like his lobster. Whoa, what a shot. Alright, so like, who, who is this guy? So like, he was just so ready to kill him, right? Like, I, I get the whole going mad thing but he's been like showing some pretty aggressive behavior for someone who's lived in a really quiet place oh that is such a cool shot that was the weirdest masturbating scene I think I've ever witnessed in my entire life. I was not prepared for any of this. <laughs> Robert Pattinson is like such a phenomenal actor. I'm so happy seeing him in these very difficult and challenging roles for him. I could tell these are all probably out of his element, yet he brings his A-game in all of these films that I've watched. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> These two are so good. Like, it's almost like I'm not even watching a movie. It's weird. Like, it doesn't even feel like a movie. It just feels like as if these are real events that are currently happening. Like a documentary or something, like a live documentary. I saw the jam coming, and I stood, and he slipped. He shouted up, and I, I just stood there. Watched him get swallowed mm. by them logs. So that's probably what that whole sequence was. He was probably, he either killed or watched that person die. So I packed up his kit and fixing as if they was my own. And Ephraim Winslow, well now he's got a spiffy clean sleep. Mm. So he is on the run. Watch you spin your beans. Wow, this is gorgeous. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap, bro, what is that? What what was that? Wow, that was crazy. That, I was actually genuinely terrified right there. I didn't know what that was. I really do think Tommy, his real name is going crazy. I think he's still dealing with the guilt of watching the other man die and he didn't do anything. Have we been on this rock five weeks? Two days? Where are we? I'm probably a figment of your imagination. Mm. I can't tell if he's just playing mind games with him or if this is real. I, <laughs> I'm scrambling right now. Mm. 
What is that? Is that from the lighthouse? Are they using like oil from the lighthouse? What's going on here? <laughs> I, as if you can, as if you thought this wasn't gonna get crazier, it gets crazier. Holy crap! I do wonder how I would be feeling or what sort of difference it would have been if this was shot in color or if this was shot regularly as like a movie in terms of aspect ratio, color. I wonder if it would still give off this effect of just going mad. <laughs> He was farting a lot during this film. What the heck is going on? That was horrifying. That was Jeez, yeah, what, I, what I'm getting at right now is that he's going through some twisted form of guilt. Some twisted form of guilt for messing or, or watching that other guy die. And it's true. You'll be punished. Did he really just bury him alive? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> Oh, well, he has the keys now. He just left him in that ditch too. Jesus, man, this this film is this film is on a whole new level, man. Like I'm, I don't even know how to describe this. Not, Holy crap! What the? F oh my god. He's dead. He's, she's, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, he's finally in there. It's time to see what's really going on. Is there like a larger deity or larger cosmic entity at play here? Because we've been seeing so many signs of that. I'm not sure if it's just in the mind or is it real? I wonder what he's witnessing. This reminds me of something off of like Lovecraft, Lovecraft horror when you witness something so much of a spectacle that it almost breaks your mind. Not a lot of films do that because it's so difficult to portray on film. Something that is so out of this world. <laughs> That was, oh my god, I, like, whoa. Oh my god, oh my god. My mouth is open for so long, I think my lips have dried. And, and, and that's, that's Lighthouse. Holy crap. Okay, um, wow, uh, that, that was Lighthouse, that was the Lighthouse, um, okay, I don't, I don't even know how to even say this, uh, but I'm just gonna narrate it the best I possibly can, wow, that film was a ride, I've never in my life, uh, or very few times in my life witnessed a film that had this effect on me. I just want to first off by say the performances by both William Defoe and Robert Pattinson were Oscar worthy beyond belief. Those two brought their A plus game to the table and it shows because it felt like I was not watching a movie. It felt like I was genuinely watching these two lose their mind. I also want to give immense amount of respects towards the director and uh, the people that worked on this film, 
from the bigger aspects all the way down to the nooks and crannies. This film as a whole is just so masterfully done. And you could tell that there was so much passion and so much risk taking with this from the aesthetic choices of having the aspect ratio and filming it entirely in black and white. These are things that, I mean, obviously, if you brought this towards a regular studio, let's say, for instance, Universal or you know Warner Bros., they would shut that down. You wouldn't even be able to get past the first meeting. But the beautiful thing about these corporations or these companies like Netflix and Amazon and Hulu is that it involves and has these people with really talented ideas tap into incredible creative ways of storytelling i've never ever thought this was going to be a movie about this and the way that it was done the approach that it was done it was very similar to an artist that i would highly recommend all of you look up on especially if you're into horror and horror in a way of lovecraft is junji ito Junji Ito is a manga artist and he, he's able to emit a similar feeling such as this film, but he's able to masterfully do it with drawings. Drawings that are just so uncomfortably captivating that all you can do is just sit there in awe and that's honestly what I felt when I watched this film. I would honestly say that, you know, just out of right now, this is probably a top 10 for me because of that last scene. And I was just talking about it, how difficult it is to capture Lovecraft in a sense of witnessing, a character witnessing something so grand, something so much of a spectacle that it's world breaking, it's mind shattering. It's like, how can you portray those moments? How can you have an actor go to such a level to admit something that is indescribable? This film does a masterful job at that to the point where it is terrifying, especially with that last scene. I was in awe. This is a phenomenal film, a phenomenal film. Thank you so much for recommending me this. I, I'm, I'm at awe. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to cut this up because there's so much information. There's so many incredible moments in this film that I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't know how I'm going to cut this up but I'll do the best that I can. I also wanna say that uh, because of films like these and I want to be able to show all the things that I was saying in this film, please be on the lookout for my Patreon because I'm gonna be putting all the uncut reactions the moment I make that Patreon. So you'll be able to witness all my reactions from movie reactions uh, and to television series reactions uncut. Um, the best that I possibly can, obviously. So that way you get to see the full extent, the full reaction and the uh, you know, massive amount of comments I have to say about this film because there's so much I had to say about this film. I just now have to kind of compact it for YouTube. So if that is something that you are interested in and if you are interested in finding out more, stay tuned for that Patreon um, because there's a lot of value that I feel as though um, to be had. Definitely be on the lookout. Other than that, I am absolutely and wonderfully speechless. This was an incredible experience. Uh, I definitely won't forget this. And I would love to find out more information about this film, like the in and outs. If you guys would like to see a reaction video to maybe a deep dive into uh, the lighthouse, uh, be sure to comment below. Uh, let me know if that's something that interests you. But otherwise, wow this was this was incredible i would like to thank you all again for the support for the likes the subscribes the, the comments uh, i'm happy of the community that we're building and i want to be more involved with you guys as well too so please share comment like subscribe if you haven't already for those of you that are new my name is james adams i'm a director filmmaker uh, editor person who is just very appreciative of art like this if you would like to see more subscribe because there will definitely be more and uh guys like i said thank you for watching thank you for sticking to the end because we are just getting started purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time hair pulled back in the back seat